Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to take a look at these Gotenks EZAs. Uh, things are kind of crazy right now, like Defoe's super busy, Dokkan now is going to get really busy because uh, we are in the 8th anniversary uh, kind of intro campaign where they're uh, doing login bonuses, we're doing the countdown, all that stuff. Uh, we have a world tournament right now, so uh, yeah, things are getting kind of crazy, but I know I haven't done a ton of uh, Dokkan content this week, so I want to get some stuff out, and I did really, really like the look of this AGL Gotenks, so let's go ahead and do a video on him. I'm going to do the STR Go Tanks as well. Um, and then whatever uh, World Tournament units I decide to EZA, I may get videos out on them as well. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I think this Go Tanks is actually a really, really nice unit. Um, I do have him on the Majin Vegeta team. That's the only 200% lead I, I've got for him at the moment. So we're going to try him out. 200% team. I've got him with a pretty nice linking partner. So I think we have a pretty good setup for this guy here, right? So his super attack effect is he does get defense for one turn. He does supreme damage and he lowers defense. And then his passive, uh, key three, he gets a high chance to dodge uh, for five turns, which is good. Uh, attack and defense, 50%. Uh, he gets another attack and defense, 20% per key sphere obtained. So he is a nuker. So we do want to make sure we pay attention to how many orbs we grab with him. Plus an additional attack and defense, 80% while performing a super. He changes tech to AGL if there is a rapid growth category ally attacking in the same turn, which we are going to have. And then rapid growth allies get one key and attack and defense 30%, right? So uh, pretty good because he's supporting and orb changing. Now rapid growth maybe isn't like the craziest category right now, but you know, a lot of those Kalen Khalifa units fit on there. I think Dokkan Fest Kale fits on there. So I think there are some potential spots um, that we can slide this Gotenks in. He's going to look really good as like a floating support character, right? Um, I did do like a full additional and dodge build. We want additional for like the defense buffs um, and we want the full dodge just to help keep him safe because um, I don't know if his defense will be the craziest. This is Max Lynx, by the way. Um, so we got him fully decked out. Now, we are running him on the Majin Vegeta team. Now, we are going to link him up with Int Gotenks. Now, the thing with Int Gotenks, he's a really old Dokkan Fest, so he's not very good. But when he EZAs, if he EZAs like this year, which he certainly could, um, this guy is going to be like a prime person to run on his team with him because he's going to be supporting him and he links really well with him. So, uh, and he's rapid growth, like he checks all the boxes. So it's gonna be a really nice setup. So right now with this trunks floating, uh, we've got six out of seven links. So this is going to be like a really good turn for him immediately. The only thing is, is I did forget to bring orb changing items. I probably should have done that. Um, but let's go ahead and grab this and see if these AGL orbs will drop kind of nice for me. Uh, Ooh, if I, uh, <laughs> if I got those STR ones out in the middle, but I'd have to push them off rotation. We're not going to do that. So yeah, 141k defense isn't crazy, but we haven't grabbed orbs yet. Remember, 20% per orb. So let's see five orbs, which should be a fairly standard turn. Um, so he's up to 200k defense. He does get 80% more though on super. Um, so his defense will be, I think, okay-ish, and he gets more defense. Like definitely don't put him in slot one, but he's got like a, you know, a little bit of dodge and after super, I think his defense is going to be okay enough for, I think, normal attacks. Um, but I don't know that he's going to be tanking supers in red zone, right? All right, so of course, in Gotenks getting hit right away. Once again, he's not going to be looking pretty good. He's not going to be looking good here. Hopefully, he doesn't take... I don't think he'll take this Vegeta out. He's fairly weak, yeah. Okay, and then 5.7. So yeah, for like a support unit hitting almost a 6 mil attack stat, that's pretty dang good. We'll definitely take that. And you can see a little bit of dodge coming through there. And then here comes Trunks. All right. So we'll get, this probably won't be a crazy long showcase because he doesn't like stack or anything. So we'll just kind of see a few turns with him. Obviously his stats are going to fluctuate based on the amount of orbs he gets, right? So at five orbs, 5.7 isn't bad for sure. Cause he definitely can hit a lot harder, right? If you get more orbs. Uh, now these Vegetas, we're just going to throw them together. Um, I think actually these Vegetas, if, if I don't super, I don't think we'll do a lot of damage this turn. Um, we'll do that. And then, yeah, this Gohan's going to have to. All right, we'll see what happens. I kind of wanted to set up be a better situation with more like STR orbs because, uh, Gotenks will change STR to AGL. So we don't really have the greatest setup, but we might be able to get a decent amount of orbs. We'll see. See what happens when the turn comes here. But yeah, I knew these Vegetas, especially if we don't super, they're not going to do damage because I have their type disadvantage here. All right. Now, this Gotenks transforming is going to be in this phase right here. He is the best linking partner, I believe. All right. And we got a really nice 40% support. So we're going to do that. Um, the orbs actually turned out pretty decent. So what I'm going to do... 
I think we're going to have Int Go Tanks just drop this AGL orb down. And then we're going to get this nice little pot of eight orbs right here. Very good. So now with a 40% support in eight orbs, right about 250k defense start a turn. Remember, he has, I believe, a 30% on his super attack effect, and then he gets 80% from his uh, passive, right? So uh, his defense is probably looking more towards 400k, something like that. So once again, his defense isn't as bad as you're led to believe like by the start of turn. You just can't put him in slot one. Uh, let's see what his attack stat looks like here with eight orbs. All right, 3.8 for this guy. I think this guy will be a really cool easy. I, I do kind of like Gotenks as a character, so I do I do like that he's getting more love here with these EZAs, and I think these EZAs are good enough to hopefully last until we get like uh, this guy's EZA. Wow, I mean, he's just attacking like crazy here. Triple super. Okay. All right, let's see the AGL Gotenks. What do we got here? Yeah, dude, 6.7. So now we're almost up to a 7 mil attack stat. Um, uh, it's kind of crazy to say it. But I think this AGO Gotenks is probably the best Gotenks in the game. If I really think about it. Because like all of the Dokkan Fest Gotenks, they're either like really old EZAs or they're this Int one who just needs an EZA, right? So yeah, I think this AGL might be the best Gotenks in the game. Kind of crazy to say that. Um, but that's kind of what happens when, you know, other units are outdated and we get a new really nice banner unit EZA. Um, all right. Let me do this. I really want to try to set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to leave as many AGL and STR orbs up as I can. Uh, if we do that and then maybe drop that. There we go. I think we're going to get a really nice orb turn provided we, we don't kill Vegeta here, which I don't think we will. I mean, if my Inf Vegetas go crazy with additional supers, because they do have type advantage, but I think we should be okay. He doesn't hit the hardest anyways. Four mil isn't the craziest. All right. Uh, yeah, we should be good. Yeah, this Trunks isn't going to take them out. We should be good. Uh, this Trunks getting an easy at some point will be insane, by the way, as well. I believe this is from the BoJack movie, I think. I think. Uh, maybe not. I don't remember what movie this Trunks is from. Could be BoJack movie. All right. Um, all right, so here... Uh, we need to... Is it not STR Orbs he was supposed to change? Hold on. Did I get that wrong? Oh, tech. My bad. I've been looking at the wrong orb. Okay, he changed his tech, so I, I did that wrong. But we still have a really nice set here. So the problem is, is I'm pretty sure Ink Gotenks would take him out. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure he would. So I think we are just going to go on slot one, <laughs> just so we can get the nine orbs here. And we'll just see how he tanks type disadvantage, right? So yeah, about 250k defense here. We'll do that and we'll do that. Um, and I think we'll just make this the last turn. I mean, we're, he's really just going to keep putting up the same numbers, right? We're not really going to see anything new at this point. All right, so we got a dodge there, so that's good. Yeah, and then 7 mil again. So, yeah, this Gotenks, like, he hits hard enough. He does supporting. He does orb changing. I think in the right team, like, he is a really, really good unit. I do like this AGL Gotenks. Uh, and then this guy here, his little uh, 3 mil attack stat, sure. All right, so anyways, guys, there you go. There is AGL Gotenks. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.